In today's video, I just needed to put mites medication on my rats because I'm pretty sure that Sprinkles over there is itching his face and his shoulders because he has mites. Um, this is really common for rats when they get a little stressed out. They will suddenly wind up with an outbreak of mites. Doesn't necessarily mean anything's wrong with them or that they, um, that they got them from you or the breeder. Um, there's lots of ways that they can get mites. Rats naturally have mites, just like people do. Cats, dogs, everybody has them. They are species specific. So it's not really a concern of them jumping from the rats to us. What is a concern is that mites, like a lot of ectoparasites, will suck their blood. And when they get a major overpopulation, this can lead to anemia, um, scabbing, and just infections and all kinds of stuff. So it's just best to go ahead and nip it in the bud when you find it. And the easiest way to do this is with kitten or cat revolution, depending on what you're available to purchase and what dosing guidelines you have. So with all that said, I made this video and thought you guys might find it interesting. Just kind of one of those day in the life of rat ownership things. Um, so yeah, enjoy. So you're going to need a few supplies, a notebook, some sort of writing implement, a scale, Let's see if I can reach this because I have my microphone on, oh I got it, okay. Revolution or its off-brand equivalent, a dosing chart of some sort. Mine is from Real Rat Lovers Want to Know. There's several rat groups that have it. I'm pretty sure the Rat Health Guide has it as well. And this is a syringe. I think I'm also going to need some scissors. I'm just trying to decide which scissors to use because from what I was reading, it's best to actually just cut this end off and then suck all that liquid into one of these. Um, but... I'm a little nervous about that because it does evaporate really fast so I'm just not sure someone also suggested this one's dirty but we'll try it taking it apart I guess you can do that I've never tried that sorry uh, taking it apart taping over it and pouring it in that might actually not be a bad plan so I may try that We'll see. I only have one tube though, so I'm kind of nervous about how hard that was to put the pieces back together. So, really torn. Oh, and I need something to set on the scale so that the rats can sit in it. Let me go grab that. I'm honestly not sure what's gonna be the best to put on this scale. So, I grabbed a serving bowl that I have, but I'm afraid it's covered in smuts that when I set this on here I'm not gonna be yeah I won't be able to see well I can see it but you guys won't be able to see how much each rat weighs at all so that's kind of problematic it's also not totally like if I actually put it all the way on there it's gonna be a real problem hmm nope too big that's actually not bad Okay, I'm leaning towards this clear plastic shoe bin from the Dollar Tree. As you can see from the label, this is just their clear storage box. Sometimes people call these shoe boxes because they're roughly the same size. But I think I can make that work because I can show you guys. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. That. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, open my notebook up. So my notebook has a label for each rat. Each label has their notes for the rat. These are for the four current rats and I'll show you what my old notes looked like. So this was for Blue and you can see everything I ever did for him. 
he was not my most sickly rat. Nibbles had front and back two pages, I think. So anyhow, I'm going to take their weight and write it down. That's gonna be step one. Let's see how my pen is working. And we write Cracker's name up here. Oh, I hate that pen. We're gonna to have to find a different one, that's terrible. It's just not nice. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. This one's better, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna do wait for today. What is today's date? I don't even know what today's date is. And I can't find out. I'm gonna check. Today is the 24th. And I'm gonna go ahead and predate all of these. And we are going to start with Marshmallow because he is not in quarantine and I would rather have him first and then put the newbies in the bin. So first we're going to turn this on. Hopefully it's still set to the proper number. Yes, it's currently set to grams. I'm going to go get Marshmallow and come right back. Good. The scale did not turn off. I don't know how well you can see it. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. All the way in the box. Could you do that for me? Looks like right at 500, 510. I'm gonna go with 510 grams. All right, next ratto. Yeah, good boy. It's a cheerio. All right, we're gonna do sprinkles next. Sprinkles is the whole reason we are doing this because I suspect he has mites. He's been itching a lot. And I'm also really curious what his weight is because he's just really skinny. Three eighty. Okay. Hold on, buddy. He's like right at 380, 379, so we're going to round up to 380. Yeah, he's quite thin. Should have done caramel because he's actually next in the book, but that's okay. Oh, buddy. It's right at... Stay, stay in the middle. <laughs> He's making this a little difficult. You're not even in the middle. And I'm not sure how accurate it is if he's off center. Two fifteen. Good boy, crackers. Okay, last we have caramel. I think he weighs more than crackers, but we will find out. Get your little tail in there. Right around 260. Okay, yeah, Sprinkles is only like a little bigger than that. Hi, hello. You may come back. Could you stand right there? Yeah, 260. Okay. So I'll turn this off. That actually worked really well. And then this is a glass scale, so um, glass top anyway. So I put it away right away because I have small people in my house who try to burn things down and break them. Okay, 
So now I'm going to look at my dosage chart and figure out how much each rat needs and make sure I have enough. I sure hope I do. Start with Sprinkles since he needs it the worst. 380. So Sprinkles is most critical right now. We'll do him and I'll just have to get some more to treat everybody else. And Quacker's just gonna shit on my shoulder for that. Okay, so then the question is, which method do I wanna use to draw this up? So I don't know how well you can see this, but that hole is super tiny. It's not punctured yet. You would push this lid down on it and it will puncture that hole. This is how it comes. And there's a little like pokey part right there that would puncture it. And that's how you would get the liquid onto your dog or cat or whatever the medication is made for. This one's made for cats. So if I try to do that and then squirt it into here, it's gonna be a mess, I feel like. I don't know. I'm afraid that the air is gonna make it like completely evaporate. I know it evaporated really fast when I tried this the last time and I wound up using multiple tubes on the four rats I had then. Um, thankfully this is made so that even if I put this whole tube on one rat it will not hurt them. Um, thankfully. But you're going to oversee this crackers, sprinkles. Ugh, this is caramel. I don't know why I'm having this, so much trouble with these food names and getting them straight, but I really am. All right, we're going to use these scissors and hope that I don't make such a mess. And that it doesn't evaporate too fast because I definitely don't want that. Okay. Okay, I think I got it all. Oh, there's a teeny bit in the tube. just can't seem to get out. Try to get the air bubbles. It smells like rubbing alcohol. Okay, that said. Next, we are gonna get sprinkles and put some medicine on him. I don't really want to scruff you, but come on. According to that, that should be enough. 0 0.07. Okay. So he's done. Next rat. So according to my chart, we put the right amount on him. He should be set. And I actually miscalculated. I do have enough for all the rats that have sprinkles. So I'm going to do everybody. Be right back. I'm trying to put it kind of near their shoulder blades. And doing this with wiggly babies is really tricky. Sorry, I don't know how much that's on camera, but I'll put them both down for a minute and <laughs> they're messing with all my stuff. But hopefully you can see that they have a little wet spot on their shoulder blades where I have put the medicine. They're not too happy about that. I'm going to let them run around on my desk so they're distracted. And I'm going to go get Marshmallow and do him next. Okay, ideally I'll be able to put the right amount on him. He's a little more sleepy. It's not quite enough. Hold still. There we go. 
All right. I don't think that this little tube is going to last, but I'm going to tape it and just see. I mean, what is it going to hurt? Okay. I don't think that little bit of medication is going to last anything, but we will see if it does. All right. I have now just dosed everybody with this. So I'm just going to make a note that they all got my medication. Okay. And then what you didn't see is that every single rat, when I have put them away, got a Cheerio in reward for their good behavior. So they are quite excited about that. And Marshmallow smells the other rats. I probably should have dosed him first, but I was more concerned about Sprinkles getting it since he um, was the one that was itching. So I wanted to dose him first and make sure he got as much as he needed. And and in hindsight, this is why I use dosing charts because math is not my guideline, my strong suit at all. And so, yeah. That's great. I don't have to go get more right now. This dose should last them all month, but I may dose them again in a couple of weeks just to be safe. So yeah, there's that. So I don't know if you can see this, but they're all so excited because they got Cheerios that they're wrestling. They don't even care that I put medicine on them. Um, it dries really fast, so it doesn't take very long. So a couple of disclaimers. Revolution is easiest to acquire through a vet. Um, it is the one of the safer methods out there. In the United Kingdom, there's also a spot on Irvermectin that is totally safe. We don't have that in the United States, unfortunately, but I've been told that you can get that through your local pet stores, which is pretty awesome. Marshmallow is trying to get all of my pens out. Um, so if you can find that in your pet store, I think it's called BPAR or BFAR, B-E-P-A-R, B-E-P-H-A-R, something like that. Um, don't quote me, I'm not from the United Kingdom, so I don't know, but that is totally safe to use and it works really well from what I understand. And then here, the best option and safest is Kitten Revolution as far as I know. Um, I've seen some people who use diatomaceous earth and things like that, but I have literally never gotten that to work. No, so squeaking, no matter what I've tried. So um, with all that in mind, just know that you will likely have to get name brand revolution from a vet you can buy off brand called stronghold um, from places overseas like um, i get mine from petbucket.com you can also go to canadavet.com a couple of other places like that and those all work just fine as well it is not contrary to popular belief a um, counterfeit medication it is a real medication that is sold it's just that in some other countries, you don't need a prescription for it like you do here. If you want to go the very safest route, you can contact your vet and ask for a single tube of Revolution. Many vets will sell you this. You just have to ask. So you only need one because you're splitting it between however many rats you have. Um, I used the cat dose because I had dosing guides for that and um, I still had enough. I could have probably dosed another two rats. So that would work for small rats, females. Um, you can also get you know, a pack of three or six, I believe, and that works just fine as well. Um, most vets will sell this to you if you uh, take your dogs or cats somewhere, ask if you can get it there. Um, and some places will sell you just a single tube. My vet has said that she would be happy to just sell me the single tube and it would be no problem. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing in there. They're running all over the place and I see lots of popcorns. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Bye. So to sum this all up, um, one of the ways that you can avoid mites, which is something that I need to start doing since I'm back to using regular bedding again, is you need to freeze your bedding at least for 12 hours, 24 or more is better. Um, the easiest way to do this is get a container that fits in your freezer. Put enough bedding to cover the bottom of your cage in that bin and freeze it and then pull it out when you need it and replace the bedding in the bin to go back in the freezer. Um, most of us can't fit those ginormous bales of bedding 
in our freezer, understandably so. Um, if you're blessed to be able to do that, then that's awesome. But that will kill any mites that are in the bedding. This goes for paper bedding, pine bedding, aspen, newspaper, anything can have mites. It's just easier to freeze it and be safe. Um, if you want to be extra, extra careful, you can also freeze your food. Um, but that's one of those things I don't think most people do that and that's never been how mine have gotten mites. Mine have always gotten it when stressed, moving to a new location or during intros. So with all that said, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Dislike it, give it a thumbs down and tell me why in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Hit the notifications bell so you know when those videos are posted. But I'll tell you, it's Fridays at 10 a.m. and sometimes Mondays at 10 a.m. And then lastly, check out these videos coming up that YouTube thinks are right for you. Bye.